already did. Yeah. Well, then I better welcome everybody. Welcome. Thank you. Well, well, I wasn't welcoming you, <laughs> no, but yeah, okay. to everybody who's you listening. To, that's that's true. That's Rain Jordan. Okay, I'm well. Okay, Rain. Let's see, this is how we're going to start things off, yeah, right? My goodness, I'm not. No, I'm everybody. welcoming everybody to the <laughs> yeah. brand new extemporized podcast program. This is where we are rooted in music, but we're going to talk about life and everything in the Bay. We're all kind of uh, East Bay people over here, so um, I am. With my co-host, the absolutely lovely, a new friend, but I feel like it's an old friend, yeah. Rain Jordan. How are you doing, Rain? I'm, I'm doing well. Good evening to everyone. Um, yeah, so we're we're here at Peter's studio, and yes. uh, this is our very first podcast. Well, maybe our second, if you count last night's. Yeah. Yeah, as yeah. a first. I think we're going to count it. Oh, right. I think okay. so. Everything counts. Hey, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like everything in life. It's a... Uh, it's a process. It's a process. Right? You work through it, and you grow, and you get better, yeah. and uh, you evolve. And speaking of evolution, evolution has been really nice to this person that's sitting across from me. I don't know if uh, – this is, I think, your first time meeting her, right? Well, well I, this is my first time officially meeting See, there's suspense right Farida, here. I didn't say who it is. Oh, so you spilled the beans. Oh, no. so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So sorry. That's all good. Go for no, it. Okay, well, what we have is our first guest here. And by the way, i got to give a lot of love to Tim Hill. He came over here to help out uh, with sound and his wonderful new bride, uh, Farida Nelson of Farida Nelson Music. She came and she saved the day. I called her and said, I need help with this sound stuff. And she came over and uh, she's an incredible multi-instrumentalist. She's a big uh, member, a big part, a corner piece, if you will, of the Backyard Improv. Mm -hmm. She plays bass, but boy, she does everything. She plays guitar, acoustic guitar, different basses, uh, classical piano. It's Farida Nelson. How are you doing, Farida? Thank you, Peter. Yes, I'm doing great. Uh, good evening, everybody. Yeah. And thank you for having me. Absolutely. It was my pleasure to come and save the day. As yeah. <laughs> you did. I yeah. swear you did. I am like so impressed with your um, audio and your technical skills, aside from your musical skills, yeah. which I did have the honor thank of you. experiencing. Right. I think it was the number 44 um i think that's right yeah, yeah uh, that's uh, right backyard yeah, i think you were playing with martin ross right and yeah. uh who else uh, chris ruiz chris yeah. ruiz that's and right. um and peter morgan peter morgan right right and the funny story about yeah. that is tim's <laughs> sitting over here he doesn't have a mic in front of him right now maybe we'll put a mic in front of him and he can tell later well oh, 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 do you want to tell it now Okay, yes. everybody, sure. this is Tim Hill, and here's the very funny story he came up and told Wait, me. Go ahead. Tim Are you a storyteller? Tim Hill is Farida's husband. Yes. Yes. Yes, I think so. Did we so. say that already? I think so. I, yes. Did we say that? I want to see some credentials, dude. Do we have, <laughs> first of all, I want to see paperwork. Card? Yeah, do we have paperwork here to prove this shit? <laughs> well, it's actually Farida that needs to get her license changed, right? Oh, so, right. right yeah. uh, oh, okay, I don't want to start any internal <laughs> turmoil here. So but Tim, story. will you tell them the story? So let me, let me lay the foundation, if you would. <laughs> this is number 44 that Rain was talking about that she came to. And I think that's the first time we met, too. Yeah, we right? did. Rain? That was our first yeah, meeting. Jane uh -huh. Tobler brought you over. She used yeah. to work for the uh, Impulse Room, the club that I used to have in downtown Walnut Creek. And anyway, Rain came to this one. And as we mentioned, these are all the players uh, that were playing. And Farida was playing bass. She was kicking ass, as she always does on bass. And I, I'm going to let Tim take the story over, but... You know, we get there early, so we start talking. Everybody talks to each other. The mm -hmm. musicians talk to guests and the other musicians, because by the way, as you know, they don't know who they're playing with until they show up. So everybody starts, oh, I'm going to play with this person. Oh, I never met you before. Nice to meet you. You know, all that kind of thing. And I guess Peter Morgan walked up, right? And I don't think you knew him at the time. Now, go ahead. How does the story go? Yeah, that's correct. So just, yeah, in the spirit of getting to know new musicians, and we knew who the other musicians were, um, you know, we just said, hi, um, hey, by the way, what's your name? You know, just like to introduce ourselves. So we stepped in the shade also to relieve ourselves of some, he of some heat. It was 90 degrees that day. Yeah, so we just asked him. <laughs> he said, well, my name's Peter. And I said, oh, what's your last name? He said, Morgan. And I said, really? <laughs> and we started, well, first of all, we said, uh, he says, well, I have a brother that used to play with Santana. And I said, what's his name? And he said, David. And we, that's when we started laughing. And I said, well, he's going to be our best man at our wedding next oh, week. That's crazy. So all these years, I've known David for about 40 years. 
And I never knew he had a brother that played guitar. And so that was our first meeting, thanks that's to you, wild. Peter. Yeah, well, well, you know, that's wild. And he did great. That yeah, was a great song. One of my favorite songs was Love Frequency. That yeah. mine too. And by the way, that's what Rain, uh, you and the editors of AKR Magazine, yeah. and thank you guys for, again for, uh, you know, doing that spread. Yeah. And, but you elected to put that Love one Frequency. on there. Love oh, Frequency yeah. on the magazine. It's a digital magazine. You should check it out. It is yep. very cool. AKR you have a magazine. bunch of yeah. subscribers too. I do. Well, how many people is kind of... What's your viewership? I mean, yeah. tell us a little bit about the, yeah. the magazine, if you would. Sure. And tell um, everybody. Sure. Um, AKR is, um, uh, stands for Audio Key Reviews. It's a high-end audio magazine. However, it incorporates, obviously, um, the inspiration behind high-end audio is um, the love of music. And um, it allows people to actually hear music the way that the artist uh, or musician intended it to, to be heard. So it allows you to hear music at, in your home um, in a very high quality way. So um, our sponsors, are, our advertisers are mostly audio manufacturers and we interview audio manufacturers and mu uh, much of the equipment is handmade um, from around the world, international. So it's beautiful equipment. It's also an art magazine. We also feature fine arts in the magazine as well. So meeting Peter for the first time. There you go. Um, uh, thanks to Jane. Yeah. Um, yeah um, give a shout out to Jane. She's an um, awesome woman. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought, wow, he would make a great subject. Not only is he, is he a fine artist, he's also a... I would... I actually <laughs> refer to him <laughs> oh, as... Oh, I'm scared. I yeah. actually referred to him in my article about him. I interviewed him and then featured him in our November issue. So please check it out. Um, it's akraudio.com. Um, um, but nonetheless, um, I, uh, I refer to him as a performance artist because Peter is such a part of the show. It isn't just about the musicians that are there, though they are the main event. Um, it's Peter who gives you the cues as to um, what, your, what, what he intends for you to play. I mean, obviously it's just an idea, a mood, a story, whatever it is, whatever cue that is, whatever little cue he gives the musicians, um, then it's up to you to, to you know, come together um, in an improvisational way and make that happen. But Peter himself is the storyteller. So to me, he's part of that show. It wouldn't be the same without him. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, um, so I, I think he's more of a performance artist, and plus oh, all of that personality and well. charisma <laughs> and authenticity that he brings to the show is just a perfect match for it. And you know, you know what? None, nobody's getting paid here. So everybody's <laughs> come on their oh, own. Oh, this is true. Their own free will. Yes. And, um, uh -huh. But when I do make it big one day, I'll reward you for all those kind Thank things you, you said yes, there. I appreciate sure. that. You know, it's kind of funny, Farida, you know, um, We've known each other for you know a few years now, and Tim. Mm -hmm. I remember meeting you one day when you came in the in the impulse room, and I think you came with your sister. Yes, one oh time. God, and, uh, <laughs> that's another funny story. Yeah, well, there's many. Well, I'll let you. You know what? I'll let you tell that story. But um, she came in and, and very sweet, and and by the way, she's one of the leading, if not the leading. Um, Piano instructors. Is there? Is it? Would you say a pianist instructor? No, you say oh, a piano well. instructor. I don't know. That, oh, no, I don't, I don't know, know how you said that <laughs> word. <laughs> oh, I, I meant nothing I think that's bad. That's a new career. Like that. <laughs> I was trying pianist? to find the right verbiage. Pianist. Okay. Yeah. Pianist. Yeah. Yes. 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 So, yes. But, we know um, where Peter's mind is. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just because I haven't dated in like years. <laughs> oh my God! Okay. Do we have to know that? No, no. Well, you brought this shit up. Okay. All right. It is what it is. But I met Farid. I digress. We all digress. All right. Yes. But um, if my memory serves correct, I think there was one time in the club um, that I asked you to come. You know, because the improvisational thing, as we do now, the backyard improv, is an extension of one of the elements that we had in the club, if you remember. And it started out on like the odd Wednesday and then it got pretty darn popular. So I moved it to many of the more crowded Saturdays, right? And at one point, I know you had a very busy busy schedule, so you weren't able to do it, but I think I'd asked you to come in and uh, play piano. Um, I think it was with our guy um, from Alpha Rhythm Kings, um, 
Oh, come on. Oh, now, how are we going to both have a brain <laughs> fart there? That's no, oh, well, that's horrible. Can we delete that part out? We of it? Cannot, that's okay. I don't know if we can listen to it. Know, anyway, it's but right. um, I guess what I want to know is do you remember the first time that you decided that, that you had the time and that you played? And could you give me a little insight on what you were thinking? Absolutely. The, you know, what Peter. you feel about this whole scene or I mean, whatever you want to say about it. Yes, Peter. And this is a very incredible story, honestly, because I've been, um, I've been in music since I was four. Okay. I've been studying music back and forth, going theory, practice, all kinds of things. Okay. Mostly on the piano. Then I started uh, learning the guitar and bass guitar. Now, since I met you, you've been challenging me <laughs> from the first day <laughs> until today. <laughs> Seriously. And I'm grateful mm -hmm. for having you in my life, challenging oh, me sweet. so much. I'll tell you the truth. The first time, I, I mean, it was the worst one <laughs> 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 because my sister was a little little bit uh she had a little too many drinks in my opinion okay. but that's just my opinion yeah, okay yeah. so she just came up to she's like came up to i think uh, the a waitress oh we talking about oh, when we were at, at the, the impulse show? room yes oh, this was yeah. at the, the impulse room, room. Yeah. Okay. the first time my sister mm -hmm. came over and i'm like okay i, I gotta take her somewhere where should i go this is hey, the first time we i met. found okay. i found the, the only jazz, jazz club, club in in Walnut Creek. <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn. So, yes. <laughs> so we came over and she she got a little tipsy, you know yeah, yeah tipsy so <laughs> she's like you have to play at on that piano. yes you i actually remember that, that yeah. piano. i'm like come and on i think as she it. said that she like tugged on my arm or something right 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 <laughs> yeah. she went to, straight to the waitress the waitress like you got to talk to peter uh -huh. he's the he's the owner here okay yeah. uh -huh. so she went straight to peter and he's like she started pushing on <laughs> you right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what was my response to and you came up to me and you said you know what Usually, I don't do this, but you have to play the piano today. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Okay, yeah. I don't even remember that part. Is that right? Yes, yeah. yes, oh, yes. Goodness. Yeah. And, wow. then you, and then you told me that usually it's the artists that come up and, you know, right. um, ask to play, but you actually came up and asked me to play. So yeah. I, I went and I actually played. I played Rachmaninoff. Uh, that's okay. It's all coming back to me now. Yes, I, I played Rachmaninoff. It's uh -huh. a, it's, it's a um, um, uh, musical moment in E minor, I remember as today, and it was fast and loud, and everybody was like, what is she <laughs> It was doing? a classical piece. <laughs> yes, but okay. it's, it's like super yeah. fast. Yeah. It's, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Anyway, it's called the C because it sounds like waves and stuff. Uh -huh. mm. Anyway, after that, uh -huh. uh, you told me, hey, you gotta get a band. You gotta get a band, you get a band, you come and play here. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, and you know what she's not telling you uh, in rain? Uh -huh. well, okay, I always get worried about trying to pronounce something in front of you. And I tell you, I'm going to get it wrong right now, too. Uh -huh. But forgive me, if you will. So, Azure Bergine? Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan? Azerbaijan, yeah. See, I, mean, I kind of <laughs> came close. This is where she's uh, from, is that correct? That's right, yes. Okay, and... Uh, where is it located on the world yeah. map? So you give everybody a little bit of a, like yeah. a geographic lesson and yeah, then tell them how totally awesome right. you were over there, <laughs> like what kind of star you were. Yeah. Azerbaijan is uh, north of Iran, south of Russia. North of Iran. Um, yeah. On the coast of the biggest lake in the world, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, called Caspian Sea. It's not uh -huh. a sea, it's not connected to the ocean, so uh -huh. it's oh, the well. biggest lake, yeah. Anyway... Um, the language is kind of like Turkish. Uh -huh. It's in a Turkish group, very similar to Turkish, but with a little dialect, I would say. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, I'm from Azerbaijan. I was born there, and uh, I was the first, uh, uh, first woman bass player back there who got to um, all the way to the Eurovision and was on TV and everything. Yes, yeah, so, uh, yes, I was pretty popular. Uh -huh. <laughs> how did you get I'm to the still Eurovision? There. Um, how did that happen? How did you? Well, um, I had not, I've been playing in numerous bands uh, in my country, and my friends were um, also involved in the Ministry of uh, Culture, and they were announcing the Eurovision contest among the you know musicians in the country and of course I came I'm like I grabbed my band I'm like we gotta go yeah. we're gonna go what a great we, opportunity yeah, right? absolutely uh, yeah. yeah we went there as a rock band first mm -hmm. um, I was just gonna say uh, you were a rocker chick yeah. right <laughs> yes yes <laughs> yeah, with the tight yes. leather pants and the whole uh, bit right uh, yes yeah. yes yeah. like really the like, flipping I, the hair yes like, yes yeah. I played in different I played in new metal band I played in punk rock band 
I was a punk rock star with red hair, spiky hair, and it was, it was pretty crazy. So was, <laughs> was, was rock and punk rock or, or metal a part of your culture as well, or was it American yeah. mostly? No, it was opposed to my culture. It was opposed. Yes, well, and the female trouble? being yes, from a predominantly Muslim country, yeah. even though we, uh, yeah. uh, we are very, um, how do you call it, social. Uh, you know, because uh, our women got the right to vote before American women. Ah. Two years oh, wow. before. Wow, so you're much more progressive then yes. in many ways. Yes, yeah. it's the only, the first Muslim country where the woman actually took her hijab off, uh -huh. threw it on the floor, and she said, I'm not wearing that. Uh -huh. And um, we have a monument built right in the middle of Baku, the capital city, uh, uh, in her memory. Anyway, wow. so yeah, yeah, oh, wow. uh, and still, uh, it, my rocker uh, thing mm -hmm. came as uh, opposition because still you have to fight for for your place being a, a woman mm -hmm. in the. I guess this is the man's world, right? <laughs> Especially the music world in general. Who even is that, is even that James here Brown? <laughs> saying, this is a man's yeah. world. <laughs> well, even in the United yeah. States, in most cultures, it is a, a patriarchal. Yeah. World, yeah. And, and just keep in mind, I'm surrounded by two ladies, guys. <laughs> I'm in a corner. I'm stuck okay. in this corner here. Yeah, so, you love it. Tim, I may need your assistance <laughs> in trying to get out of here, dude. You okay. love it. Get out Look of here alive. I see love bubbles. Yeah, I know. It's all good. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it, it's just, again, I, I say it. One of the things that, Raina, you know, mm -hmm. I think one of the reasons that we connected, mm -hmm. and I don't want to speak for you, is I like your vibe. Yeah. And when you did the interview with me, mm -hmm. I think we think a lot of things. Now, if you were to try to have a show, there's got to be controversy, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want people to always get along. No. Shit, people don't like seeing yeah, that. Yeah, so we were like clashing like crazy. Like <laughs> people get along, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's got to be some controversy, but I yeah. think we're going to have to make that controversy up. No, I think we're going to do just fine. <laughs> oh, you think we're going to have some natural disagreements? I think there's going to be some oh, natural it's controversy. Be natural disagreements. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good because we have a similar type of yeah, thing. Yeah, no, we where, do you know, have a I mean, similar vibe, I think. Yeah. However, I do think that we're going you to. You did tell me earlier that you're from New York I'm, I'm, and you just say the way everything is. Exactly, I can be blunt. Um, I'm kind, but I am blunt. So. If I hurt I your feelings in any that. way, I know I'm my a cancer. cancer man. Yes, <laughs> right. You my know. cancer friend. And friends. so I'm in this interview Excuse with her, me. okay, yeah. and uh, yeah. I don't know, but I was describing, she asked something, yeah. and I was describing myself in a few yeah. words that yeah. were sort of like more like 850 words. It but, was. Um, it was. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they tell me during the quite concerts, Quite improvisational. Too. You know, it, it's it, funny. Okay, I just got to say this real quick. Yeah. The whole purpose, for anybody who's listening as, as this evolves and as this grows, the whole purpose of this is, at least for me, mm -hmm. this is an extension. It's just another arm. It's another leg, if you will, another appendage, I guess, since I'm talking about body parts, of, of what I do already, which is I have the Peter Barron's Jazz Network, which is a Facebook group. Then I have the Backyard Improv, which is this all – improvisational thing, which is what Farida stars in, and, and I'm very happy to say we have about 70, 75 different musicians that take part in this thing. Um, so this, I was thinking to myself, well, okay, we have the YouTube channel already, so you can go on there, if you simply punch in Peter Barron's Jazz Network, you just punch in my name, Peter Barron. You can put in the All Improv channel, um, the Backyard Improv, and it'll all come up. There'll be a circle there, and it says the All Improv Channel. So you can see that, but I thought to myself, I banter a lot, right? I talk a lot. You know what's funny? <laughs> so I, I'm a social, antisocial person. I can talk a lot, but I can also be kind of quiet. I, I feel that in you. Do you? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, you don't answer my calls. You text me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't that a sign of the times? Isn't that what everybody does now? They can't even have conversations with each other. Well, I actually prefer the conversation. Yeah. Well, you're old school. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. But you know, what do you do? Oh, say, I don't even know what the hell we were talking about, but we, we moved on to a different to we're, topic. We're, okay. <laughs> we were talking about um, your, um, your start She's pointing in to music. Farida. Yes. Yes. Oka, her start in music, yes. but then I think we moved on to the idea okay. that I'm creating this thing just as another way to uh, be able to express myself. And then I said, I'm going to get some friends of mine. I'm going to team up with somebody cool. And so then she just walked in here one day, 
That's Rain Jordan, the incredible Rain Jordan. I said, oh, she's the one. I want to partner up with her. She's got a good vibe, good energy, good know-how. And I said, well, then I get to hang out with my musician friends. If it wasn't enough to hang out with you, Farida, during the show, mm. I might as well do something extra so I can hang out even more with you. Um, Farida, what is your favorite part? And yes, I'm sitting six inches away from you, so you're <laughs> going to feel obligated to say something nice. But just out of curiosity, you mentioned earlier a little bit about uh, you like being challenged. Yes. But can you elaborate a little bit on what you like? Now I'm not even talking about the club anymore. I'm talking right. about the backyard improv. Yeah. Okay. The club closed in 2019. COVID killed it. Mm -hmm. I had an investor that was going to come in and we were going to carry on. I finally made myself, made my way into the, the black. Um, and then COVID hits. Yeah. And just had to die. But I wasn't going to let the dream die. I champion original music, as you as you know. So then one day I called on you to come to the Backyard Improv. And what is your thought about this Backyard Improv, about the musicians? I mean, have you made relationships with people? I mean, Absolutely, yes. It's, it's an amazing thing. And just as Rain said, you are the connecting point yes. there. You are the connecting um, um, element, mm -hmm. you know. It's like... You say you talk too much. You need to talk too much because oh, you. See. The more you talk, <laughs> the more you bring us together. Yeah. The more you tell us, the more you bring us all in the same vibe, you know. And mm -hmm. you do bring us in that vibe, mm -hmm. and then we vibe together, bringing into something, you know, yeah. absolutely amazing. I mean it in a very non-aggressive way, Tim. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tim's over there. You know, that's her husband. And uh, no, no, just as a friend kind mm -hmm. of a thing. I, yeah, yeah. I, she's awesome. Well, thank you for that. For Absolutely. I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you Peter. find something? Um, I mean, should we have you come over one day and play keys? Um, or do you want to stick with the bass? You, you keep on challenging <laughs> me, right? <laughs> uh, you want to bring the key one day? It took me forever day? to feel fine doing uh -huh. this on the bass. To be yeah. honest, the first one oh. was very nervous. And by I the way, so I mean, how many basses do you have now? I mean, I've been over your place. Tim, Three. by the way, is an incredible cook. <laughs> They're both great cooks. But Tim, whereas I'm a storyteller with the, with the setting up the vibe for the song... Tim, I've been over to their house a couple times, makes me incredible dinner, right? But yes. there's stories behind them. I think it's yes. where that potato was grown. No, no. You know? <laughs> <laughs> where they harvested that pistachio. Totally. I, I don't know. You I, know well, I love it. Random shit. I love it. I just got to meet Tim today. Um, mm. And, um, of course, I, I think I asked him how you guys met. <laughs> yes. how him and Farida met and um, he told me this incredible story about their, how did it go? their meeting oh, it was I don't know if I heard this story oh Can my god I, I don't know if we have enough time but I would love for Tim to tell the story or both of them Farida oh, right. and Tim go ahead Tim. yeah Make I think it's so worth telling. <laughs> How are we doing on time, by yeah, the way? I think we're good. Are we yeah, good? I think and if this not, story we're let is her worth roll. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how did you how did you both this meet? This is Tim's yeah. story on how Tim and Farida met. I want to hear Farida's version as well. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it's always Make a little bit different, you know, when but you ask people. Start with the weather. That. What kind of weather was yeah. it outside? <laughs> it was actually it was a nice day. Very mm -hmm. nice day. Yeah, yeah. So at the time, I was uh, managing Bass Magazine. I had started with started it with some former members of Bass Player Magazine. Mm -hmm. And I had a business proposal into Victor Wooten. And I was going to go to the show, but it was a Sunday night in San Francisco. And I don't usually go to shows on Sunday night. In, in the city, it's, you know, you got to go to work on Monday morning, right? right? So it's back and forth, back and forth. Should I go? Should I go? So at last minute, I decided to go. Well, I was standing in the line. I was about maybe 15 or 20 people deep. Farida was in the dinner line. She was in the wrong line. And the doorman <laughs> turned her away. That was my first show in the United States. Okay, first show in the that United States. That you went States. to. After, yes. And you were going to see who? <laughs> who were you going to see? Victor Wooten. That was oh, my Victor star. Wooten. Okay. He okay. never would come to Azerbaijan. Uh -huh. We see Marcus Miller. We, we had like everybody. Like seriously. Uh -huh, but Victor Tucci, Wooten, yeah. But never Victor Wooten. And I was like, I was really, really excited. Uh -huh. okay. I bought my ticket 40 days before the show. <laughs> Okay, so you're in the dinner line. So, so I'm in the, the main line, and I'm about maybe 15, 15 or 20 deep. And the guy says, well, you need to go to the back of that line, which is about 200 people deep. Wow. And she said, you mean that line? <laughs> and I saw this interaction, and I just looked at her and said, excuse me, I don't mind if you, you can cut in front of me. And you know, I asked, are you with anybody? And she said, no. And I said, well, what are you doing here? Because there's nothing but a bunch of dudes behind you. This is a dude <laughs> show, right? Well, then she tells, proceeds to tell me that she's a bass player. Mm -hmm. So then I mentioned that, well, I'm... 
you know, manager of bass player of bass magazine. magazine. <laughs> so, have you ever been here before? Isn't no. So we ended up just right yeah. there. Is that <laughs> great? So That's just destiny right yeah. there. The D <laughs> just formed. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up sitting together because she'd never been there before, and we had a great conversation. And she's showing me videos of her playing at Eurovision, and, and I'm thinking, wow, this this is amazing. Well, she plays guitar, and then she tells me she has a master's degree in piano performance, on and on and on. So we have a great you know discussion watching the show. So then we see the show. And afterwards, I realized, well, she's somewhat of a sane chick. Maybe I can take her and go meet the band. So I said, hey, would you like to go meet the band? And she said, yes. And oh, my God. The, 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 the arrow goes straight. Oh. <laughs> Are you talking about Cuban? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So, totally. you know, we did the normal thing, the hang, take pictures and everything. So I said, you, you know, if you want these there. pictures, if you the want these pictures. Oh, yeah. wait, check this out. If you want the pictures. Oh, shit. If you Dude. want the pictures. Uh, I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, them. that's a nice line, bro. And this guy, that, he's nice. like, he has this quiet you, charm. You know, I got to say. You got to trust him right you, from the beginning, you know. I know He's you so already. trustworthy. You came up with that. You got that position specifically so that you can use that line no, one day. No, he did not. That yes, was not did. a line. Well, no, but he was waiting for the right opportunity. Oh, you think so? Yes, I, I think do. That was I think, in, I that think was so. in front of you. He was such a gentleman. That was yes. from Such a gentleman. Nice <laughs> really. yeah. I walked her to her car afterwards. I didn't try to kiss her on the lips. You know, all the normal no. stuff, guys. No. Do, right? Not on the lips, you said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the neck, no problem. <laughs> So, you know, we ended up texting each other, you know, all night long till like 2 o'clock in the morning. And, three. Oh, 3 o'clock three. in the morning. Okay, you guys want to get on the same page? You wouldn't wow. be good at a crime thing here. All yeah. Right. So, um, so the next morning, Joseph Wooten, who was in the band, sends me an email the next day and says, Hey, Tim, it was really nice to see you last night and meet your wife. <laughs> And I wow. said, I my wife, you. I just met her last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, here we are married. But, yeah. Wow, uh, that's but, so incredible. But there were two more romantic days that we spent together doing things. But, but the surprising thing is, I said, well, hey, you know, would you like to get together maybe in a week or two, have lunch or something? She says, say no. We may, maybe we should get together again. Uh -huh. And I said, yeah, sure, let's do it tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> 2 p.m. Did okay. you? Well, the Before office yeah. is closed. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the arrow has struck. <laughs> Well, that, that, that's 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 that awesome. That's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. Amazing. Well, I mean, that's fate, right? It is. It's that, destiny. That, that's fate. Yeah. You know, it's just weird how life is, just how things turn. It's so out. beautiful. Hey, Tim, how are we doing? And I can time? feel the love between you two, honestly. Aww. Really, it is very strong. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I'm really <laughs> excited. I don't know about you, ladies, and, and, and Tim, since you're over there. And by the way, that was a great story, and uh, it, it, that's like almost fairy tale it kind is. of stuff, yeah. you know. I mean, so but that, real, that's you great. Know? And, uh, yeah, nothing like you know, a real it's weird fairy tale. Because when you get to that point, and then you reflect back on all the troubles and tribulations <laughs> that you had in your life, mm -hmm. you could have very well. And I, I mean, I don't need to tell you this, but it, it's obvious you could have not gone that night. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, you wouldn't true. be here now, most yeah. probably. Oh, yeah. Tim, you could have called in sick that day. <laughs> I almost didn't go several yeah. times. You almost mm -hmm. didn't go. I kept going back and forth. Should I go? Shouldn't I go? Should but I go? So you I vacillated. Go? You were very greasy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. So it's just funny how life works out. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what you guys believe in, but I do feel like sometimes we get nudged in certain directions, and sometimes you make a decision and you don't really know why. You made a decision, you just felt kind of compelled yeah, to I do that. I think when it comes to love, um, it is guided by divine destiny. Yeah, especially love. Do, so do yeah. you think it's preordained? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know it's if it's preordained. You know, that's a, that's a whole other topic that we can get into. Okay. I would say that it is um, all the elements lined up um, for a reason. Um, right. For a reason. Like so, a puzzle, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and it's divine timing at the right time, at exactly the right time when, when both people were actually ready, you know? You know, part yeah. of this part of this podcast, and we'll wrap it up in the next five minutes or an hour or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to roll a little bit longer because uh, these guys, we, you guys still we'll live here in Dublin, in the right? morning. <laughs> yes. Okay, so it's a bit of a trek for you to come back out mm -hmm. here. And by the way, I'm super excited because you came here. This is the first, this is our foray, if you will. This Sunday, is the premium episode, the premiere episode. <laughs> so I thank yeah. you guys for being um uh, part of that thank you for having us oh, oh no. my god i couldn't think of a better no this worked out pretty well yeah i guess yeah. Uh, no, you know plural and, and here's kind of here's yeah. what's funny 
I told this to Rain earlier, and I was actually telling these other guys that as well. 1111 is the next show. Yeah, and, and this podcast, by the way, I mentioned her earlier, but I just want to reiter- reiterate that we're going to talk about music. We're going to have the guests all the time, the different musicians, their perspective, what they're doing, um, l- similar to conversations we had tonight. But we're just going to talk about random things, yeah. too. Nothing to do with music at all. Um, but as we just going to keep it on music for one second. Frida, what do you got going on in terms of music? Because you can't come 1111, which is going to be a big oh, thing. Wow. Um, yeah. mm-hmm. But what, what do you got going on? You're doing I some am, rehearsing or what? Yes, I have g- g- quite g- many things happening at once. All I, on the same day? It, <laughs> not all on the same <laughs> okay. day. I have That same day I have a rehearsal, very important rehearsal with uh, the bassist Kurt Reebok, Um Nice. And yeah, he's a wonderful, yeah, wonderful yeah. musician. And he plays his upright bass. Yeah, he yeah, plays an upright, upright bass. bass. He plays a okay. lot with Lincoln. Yes, Adler. that's right, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And so um, I will be playing guitar and singing with him. So I have a oh, good. duet. Oh, I've him. not heard you sing. Uh, really? Where can yes. I find your music? On uh, my website or YouTube channel. My website is www.foridanelsonmusic.com. And my YouTube channel is Farida Nelson Music. Easy enough. Rain, that was nice. Yeah, you're that, that, that kind of smooth transition right yeah. into like, you know, <laughs> I think I would have forgot that shit. Well, thank you. Okay, yeah. so yeah. nice. Yeah. Thank you. I'm good for you. It. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So and then the, another project that I have is the trio, the uh, fusion mm. fusion jazz rock trio Who's with Paul fusion Brannon and trio. Christopher Paul Gamper. Paul Brannon and Chris Christopher Gamper. Gamper. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? Both of those two people we mo- we we met because yeah, because of you. And Thank see, you, that, Peter. That, that, well, you're welcome, and that makes me happy. Yeah, Paul Brannon's awesome. He plays the guitar and the saxophone. Absolutely, he's brilliant Fantastic. in both of them. I haven't seen him in a while. I think he played in number 42 or 43 over here. And, uh, yeah, well, I I don't like to spill the beans too much because part of what I do is all very nobody knows. Mm -hmm. But uh, Chris Gamper, as I told you, he's playing on 1111. Right. So the drummer you're practicing, but you're not practicing with him that day. No. You're doing the other thing. Yes, yes. But, yeah, so Chris Gamper is is part of that one with – no, okay, I w- I'm not going to do it. Okay, oh, I was about to say no, the other don't, three. Don't, you already no, told no, me. No, no, I already no, no, yeah. said the one okay, thing. Okay, so, so please leave it there. Secret secret. Yeah. See, the problem is everybody knows everybody. Right? Well, so then they start saying, I, I'm busy, I'm going to do Peter's thing, and I tell them, don't tell anybody. Don't uh, tell them you know, who you're playing with. But they um, tell everybody. They do. Yeah. They do. <laughs> so, Rain, I'm just, yes. uh, we got a few more minutes, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hear that rain. Yeah, it sounds no, beautiful. No, that's crazy, right? <laughs> I hear rain, rain, I hear the rain. <laughs> and I just talked about rain. I, I do want to say one thing, Let's and not to promote things. my magazine no, at all, but, but to do. promote the interview with Peter. It is a really interesting interview, and I think a lot of the things that you said today, um, you expand upon in the interview as well. So I think it's a good way for the listeners who don't know Peter so well, um, who may be randomly listening, um, to learn about Peter um, as an improvisational performance artist um, and also the work that he does. Well, I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know how much um, I should be referencing uh, AKR Magazine and, and uh, your connections or ties to them. Hopefully I can do it a lot. Oh, you can do it a lot, and but that's not the point. The point is, right. and we do have a large readership. Our, our yeah, magazine comes out. By the way, I never out, got that number. How many yes, people? Our, our, our magazine comes out six times a year. Okay. And each time is over a million readers. See, that's wow. good. Yeah. Um, and it's right. an international magazine, so they're from all over the world as well. And they're mostly music lovers. Well, you know what's funny about that? Yeah. So when Jane introduced us both mm-hmm. and uh, during that concert, mm-hmm. she mentioned who you were and what yeah. you did. Mm-hmm. She's an editor and contributor mm-hmm. to the magazine. She wrote the article on that, and she does a lot of great work with it. Uh, she sent me over a link because, t- to be real honest, I hadn't heard of it prior right, to that. Of right, of course not. Okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I have, and yeah. I'm like, how did I never hear about mm-hmm. it? The thing's pretty badass. Mm-hmm. I mean, you take a look at this mm-hmm. thing. Incredible equipment mm-hmm. and everything. Um, but she she <laughs> introduced me <laughs> to you, and uh, it's just, it, it, it's funny, again, how things work out, because here we are now, and I've been looking for somebody to co-host a, a podcast with mm-hmm. for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's been four years since the club. I wanted to team back up with JD, so we did that. 
and it just never panned out. Now mm-hmm. I know why. This yeah. is that whole predetermined that, that thing. destiny. Yeah, you go. Thing. And it was funny is after our interview, mm-hmm. and I felt like we had such a good rapport together. Um, I had said, "Well, yeah, I just finished up doing some voiceovers for an audio manufacturer, and I was thinking about doing a, bo- a podcast because I get that all the time. They're like, you should do a podcast, mm-hmm. um, just based on the interviewing and things like that. And um, I say that to Peter, and then suddenly he's like." frozen for a moment and he's like wait a minute <laughs> yeah well, i was waiting for wait the light bulb to switch <laughs> wait a minute i was like mid-thought or some shit wait you know what i mean so yeah. and and so um it was born you know yeah. um here it is yeah That's Frida, awesome. i'm gonna ask you a couple more questions so we're gonna yes. get out of here how many of the backyard improvs do you remember have you done uh Three and once, once I was, it was three plus one when I was just a uh, uh, called out to play <laughs> oh, well, a song about out the of the audience. Well, just, uh, you're talking come about up the club. and play. No, 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 no. Right oh, at the, uh, yeah. Kane. Kane, yeah. it was. Uh, well, we were in Livermore. You're talking about. Kevin Kane. W- yeah, Kevin Kane. who was Called playing. me out. I, yeah. I, oh, okay. All right. So here's and I how wasn't this story ready. Goes. And I wasn't ready. Okay. I was so I, I was so not ready. Oh my god. Okay. All right. So <laughs> like, people have no idea. What did you play? Did well, you have no, your no, instrument no, with no, you? No, no. I'll tell this. Okay. Story. All right. So, Go so ahead. here's how this shit goes. Okay. <laughs> and I wasn't even gonna bring it up because I think you played in four actually, if my memory serves correct. But I could be wrong. This one I wasn't counting. This was in Livermore, and I don't remember what number it was. But we were at my good friend's Evan Thomas's house. Okay. He's got the Evan Thomas band. He's a great guitar player and I forget the exact group but Evan was on guitar and the bass player was supposed to be Kevin Kane or he was Kevin Kane but Kevin was running late because he's coming all the way from Sacramento Mm -hmm. okay and he called me and he said oh dude I'm I don't know what time I'm gonna get there there's a bad accident on there and oh geez Kevin's always late by the way Kevin? Yeah. Uh, Just saying. Kevin's are always late. <laughs> if you is know a Kevin. Like, oh, if you know a you Kevin. Like, yeah. Okay, so is that a lady's version of me calling people Karens? Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Is it's that similar. A whole Karen versus yeah. Kevin. Kevin's Kevin are late. Kane, if you hear this, bro. <laughs> okay. I got your back, bro. I got your back. Okay? He has to prove that Don't he's not always late. <laughs> If it's true, change your name. What's your middle name? I'm going to start calling you your middle name, Don't Kevin. name your child, Kevin. Okay. And what the hell was I saying? Okay, so anyway, Kevin Kane was running late because of the traffic on, Sa- in, you know, coming from Sacramento. It had nothing to do with his name. Okay. Um, I go to Farida because I know she's a great bass player. She's already played for me, right? Hey, Farida, you got to step in. you got to step in. I need you. I don't know what's happening with Kevin Kane. She just looked at me like, have you lost your freaking mind? Uh-huh. No. I don't know if you said it exactly like that, but the end result was no, it wasn't going to happen. You read it in my eyes, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I said, don't okay, put me in this position. I'm not asking a second time. Uh-huh. All right. So, but it worked Funny. out. He ended yes. up showing up. Yes. It was an incredible show, as it always is. And, um, but do you have a favorite memory other than the club? Mm-hmm. Outside, do you have... A favorite song or a favorite um, performance so far? You just played the last one. The very last one we were in was number 45. Okay, we're going to 46 on 1111. was number 45, and in that you had Garrick, the heads. Garrick Davis yeah. on guitar, who was great. Okay, you had Mark Edgar, yeah, Mark on, Edgar on drums, yes. who was fantastic, and Daryl Brogdon on That's keys. Right. There's a song you guys played, which I loved them all, including Son, which was dedicated to your son. That's right. It was right. my son's birthday. Yeah. It was your son's birthday. You started off with a solo, but you guys just kept rolling into a song, and we yes. just let it roll, and that's called Son. But one of my favorite Beautiful. songs was a shorter song called Red. Oh, yes. Red is Red, absolutely Red fantastic. Red was very yeah. cool. But that was my own thing. And I absolutely, the one you played with that I still can't get over to this day, is with Simon Smith. The okay, funky on chick? guitar and Chris Ruiz on. Uh, no, it wasn't. It funky wasn't the chick. funky chick. This Wait. was a, so. This was, if you remember, this was um, uh, with Paul Deegan on where it had happy people. <gasps> happy, okay, people happy people. That's people right. Oh my gosh, it's where beautiful. Where everybody got up and was dancing like yes, crazy. it was. Yes, it was. It was. It was. Oh, it was one of those wild. moments. Which yeah. what number was this? Forty. Oh, this was like forty-two. Okay, 43. so it was before yeah, the last. Yeah, it one. was okay. June. 
June? Okay. No. Oh, see, we're on number 46 now, so we're yeah. starting to lose track of all this shit. <laughs> but it was absolutely, everybody got up and started dancing. Well, I have to you don't see that yeah, one. You don't yeah. see that very often, yeah, to be no. honest. Like, if, everybody if you got get everybody up, up dancing, dancing, it was yeah. crazy. You know and we're good. talking 56-year-old, 70-year-old yeah. people, so if yeah. they feel compelled to get <laughs> wow, up and that dance, <laughs> that, man, that's good <laughs> shit right there because they got to put the walker aside. No, no, I'm just kidding. But you guys all you guys. have to remember the v- <laughs> initial vibe comes from Peter. I know. You know, know. he like, he he starts the engine and then whatever rolls out of that when we felt so comfortable with each other at the end, you know, it just, it just, it just went so like... I don't know, how do you call it? Like amalgamated completely, you know? Yeah, he's the unifier. He really yes. does yes. unify the entire group. It felt And beautiful. also the crowd. The audience is a part of that as well. And how that all comes together is just such a beautiful collaboration. Right. It, the vibe is so amazing. Hey, Rain, you got to follow through. And when you go home, can you go ahead and please send me this? This If nobody else subscribes or listens to this, I'm going to listen to this. <laughs> oh. So when you see there's like 100 views on this, that's it's me doing me. 99 of them. <laughs> Because it's a good thing they can't I see you. I'm actually accomplishing some shit. You are accomplishing some stuff. You are, Peter. Absolutely. But I will say, you know what is actually really, this is from the bottom of the heart. I, I really mean this. One of my favorite things, I've told you this before, is when everything stops, I stop talking, the band stops playing, I thank everybody. Everybody gets up and they're starting to leave. But then I see the musicians pack up but then start talking to each other oh, absolutely. they start exchanging telephone numbers mm-hmm. they start going man it's so great to meet you i'd never met you before so when i hear that you formed a band with paul brand and, and chris gamper and you, wilson brooks you played with it at right. some time and, and and other people are doing that and we've had some people i just heard after the fact where the same group got together and they went in the studio and we did a couple of the songs. One of them mm. had Simon Russell on there, and I think the aforementioned Kevin Kane and Sonny Fairley and stuff. Uh, um, but it's neat. And when I start learning things that just... What I also like is that, yes, I'm biased to the things that I did. In the club, if you remember, we didn't have a stage per se. People played on the ground level. Right. Mm-hmm. They play on the ground level here too, for the most part. Yeah. I like it, Rain, because what would happen is it allowed the musicians to engage with the audience. Yeah. You weren't separated. You weren't, you separated. weren't like on another level. Yeah. And that's what makes it all so beautiful, too. Exactly. That adds to that sort of collaborative feel. And so, you know, I actually have to fight for thank you time for them because everybody else comes and up and runs up to them. them and which like, is beautiful not to have that barrier between the audience and the musicians. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Well, before we wrap this up, Rain, again, Farida, thank you so much for Absolutely, coming. Absolutely, guys. It was Tim, thank you, too. Congratulations. Yeah, I think both this of you. is made in heaven. You guys are going to be uh, forever. You guys, uh, well, okay, this shit's going to be controversial here. What? Are we ready for something? Rain, yeah. can I say something? Go, go for it. You guys going to have any kids? Ah. <sighs> uh. <laughs> We have two already. You're in, I think so you're we're good. Fun. You're good. Okay. You're I just plenty. wasn't sure what the what the plans were. Not uh-huh. that they were any of my business, yeah. but you know. No, that's a this cool is question. A behind the scenes. Okay. Yeah. See, right. yeah, it is a very cool question. So, Rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to know this. Mm-hmm. What's the deal with your name? Okay, because that's a beautiful name. It's raining outside. I mean, just whenever you walk around, you bring nothing but sunlight and joy. Yeah. At least to me. Yeah. And you have the name Rain. Mm-hmm. I think of it when I hear this name, like your parents were from the '60s, and it was Sky and uh, yeah. uh, whatever Galaxy, whatever the names are. So, mm-hmm. what's the story? That they what's were the, hippies, right? Is that yeah? That's yeah. what I think. So yeah, how, the, you know the how did it go? the governor of California used to um, live next to me when he was the mayor of Oakland. He had the loft next to me, and he used to ask me on the elevator. He asked so many times the same question. He was a little senile. Um, <laughs> <laughs> were your parents hippies? Yeah. Um, no, actually, they weren't hippies at all. Um, so my name is actually a derivative of a longer name that I'm not going to mention. Oh, so, come on. yeah. But anyway, okay. so okay. it's a shorter version of a longer name. Okay. okay. Yeah, so it's the end of my name. Um, and How's she going to do that? Yeah, that's okay. I'll tell you at another time. Okay. But, but I chose it. Actually, somebody named me that. Um, they, they said I had the same name as them. 
um, a boyfriend that I dated in college, and I met his mom, and he said, you know, we have the same name. And I said, I thought your name was Rena. And she said, no, it's blah, 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 blah. And I said, oh. And I said, oh, I would love to do that with the end of my name, but it would sound like this. She said, well, you, you could call yourself this. That would be beautiful for you, right? And I said, oh, my gosh, I could do that. And when I went home, I told everybody that I'm going to be using that portion of my name, and that was it. It was over. It was oh, done. That's awesome. And nobody ever looked back, and nobody knows me by any other name but that wow. name. Yeah. That suit, so, and it I love it. I, I think so, too. It's, I think it's an organic name, and it's very close to the earth. And um, it reminds me of growth and yeah. nourishing Absolutely. and all of those things. And I feel like um, that's really what my constitution is. Yeah. It, it suits you. And how does this sound? Rain Jordan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, and then throw in, I almost feel like I was trying to sound like Barry White. Rain Jordan. I mean, it just sounds very cool. Oh, you say that. very cool. So. Well, Jordan's a river, too. So it has Jordan water in it, okay. too. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was thinking yeah. Michael Jordan, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too, you know. Oddly affiliated with that. All that's right, no Farina. So where are you playing next? So you got your thing, um, you're rehearsing on 11-11. Where are you, when, when's the next performance? Performance is in November 30th um, okay. with Kurt Reebok. Um, Rocks on Main. Yeah, I'll be playing Rocks at on Rocks on Main. Yeah. Oh, I know where that okay. is. Yeah, yeah Martinez. Yeah. Martinez, yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to play in Willits. But that's going to be a little later in February. I have this is my first time going up north so far. Mm. Um, uh, I don't know if you. I know where Willits is. Yeah, yeah. it's next to Fort Bragg. I think. Okay. It's like yeah, that's, a, that's drive way from up north. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's cool. I love that area. Yes, oh, yes. It's so rugged and beautiful. Yeah. Lastly, is there anything that you'd want anybody who's listening to you that has never met you before? What can you share with them? What do you want them to know as a parting shot about what Farida Nelson is all about? Really rhetoric <laughs> question, yeah. really. <laughs> well, well, leave us with some parting wisdom. What do you some some Frida isms or something? I started um, my whole musical career uh, and my whole uh, composition. Like when I started writing music, it's it's been all as a revolution. Okay, so mm. my whole and you when you drew up that that beautiful multi-instrumentalist, that picture that Tim has on his iPhone, I printed Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, so I did a painting <laughs> for her. You did a painting? Oh, that's yes, pretty badass. Yes, that's a painting He's called multi-instrumentalist. And it has that red line that going yeah. through and just like, it's like a revolution right there. It looks nice. like it's like black, you know white, and I'm red. I'm looking up for you guys. So I did this painting for her. It's called multi-instrumentalist. It's based off all the paintings she did. It's black and white and has some red in it. And she just pointed out Tim is shooting with the phone here, and they turned it into the phone cover. <laughs> yeah, that I is love it. Badass. Did you notice that before? No, I had no idea. Oh my until gosh. She said it right now. It's beautiful. But look Where at that, it? and look at that on the wall. Oh, is that? Oh. The, you see that style? You yes, see that, that that's style. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But who yes. has this painting? Uh, that's hers. Yeah, where it's, is it? It's, it's at my. It's at oh. our apartment. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry. Nice. Anyway, you just threw me for a loop. Yeah, there. revolution. Uh, yeah. One word: revolt. Yeah. Revolt. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping that doesn't happen here in, in this a good, country. It, in with a good, no. yeah, yeah, with yes. with yeah. justice, with good, yeah, yes, with good, for good, will. revolt for good. Yeah, yeah right. you it's know, kind of yes. yeah, yeah. Like, like when someone says resist, like resist what? Like yeah, yeah re- resist oppression. Exactly. Yeah, because you want good. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, in uh, I, I I've you know I've been growing up in a society that was a little bit more conservative than the American society. Right. And we were told to wear specific clothes and that girls are not supposed to wear jeans and all kinds of... I mean, come on. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm from the Stone Age, as <laughs> they say. <laughs> so you I was just like, imagine you know being this in other BS. parts of the world now? Yeah. Well, good for you. I mean, that's so strong. You know, I knew that I'm going to live in the United States. Yeah. I felt like I'm the wow. citizen of the United States when I was a kid. Well, I'm glad you did was it when kid. you did it. You had right? the mindset. It's probably becoming harder and harder now. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Revolution in a good way. I love Revolt it. Revolt yeah. in a positive way. I, I like yeah. that. Stand for your rights. Yeah. How so do you like that? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, and as, as, as an artist, uh, my last uh, thought here for this evening is nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'm not afraid to admit that I failed many times. I had a nice clothing store that lasted 10 years, but it closed. I had the impulse room, and that closed because of COVID. The, the clothing store closed after 10 years because of the Great Recession. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then that happened. But you have to find a way to get yourself up, 
dust yourself off, and move forward. And I don't think, at least in my opinion, it's possible to be, possible to be successful without having some failures yeah. ahead of that. It's what do you think about that, Rain? I think that's impossible. You have to fail. There's just no success without failure. There isn't. They go together. Yeah, and don't yeah. be ashamed of it. No, not at all. You know? That's where you have your greatest learning opportunities. That's how you learn is through failure. Uh, just absolutely. like we learn through suffering. Nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants to fail. But those are our greatest opportunities. Exactly. Well, that's where we grow the, you know, the most. Yeah. It's very easy to... Um, be happy when things are going oh, well. Oh, yeah. But to persevere when they're but not. When they're not going mm -hmm. well, can you still Have faith. find things to be happy about, yes. find things to smile at yes. your partner about? You've had that tough day at work. Can you go home and then just kind of put it aside? Yeah, you sleep like shit. You wake up a couple times during the night because you're all stressed up, stressed out, but you still wake up and say good morning. Yeah. Still say I love you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're still grateful for being alive. I mean, That's it's it. very basic. That's yeah. It. You know, I figure yeah. as long as we have tomorrow, then we have a chance to make things even better. Frida, you were incredible. Yeah. Uh, she's at Frida Nelson Music. Tim Hill, thank you, brother man. I love thank that you. phone cover. I would like <laughs> one. You gotta let me know where you got that. Rain Jordan, you're incredible. Thank you so much for everything you're Aww. doing here. And please send that over to me today at somebody will. revving their motorcycle. Oh, no, I love it. That's a good ending. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Burning rubber. Out there. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I just want so to say, I want to band. kind of piggyback on please. what you said. Thank you, um, Farida. Really, it's a pleasure to meet you. You're, you're absolutely beautiful. And Thank always, you, I can't wait to hear you sing. I'm going to get on the internet uh, and kind of look up your music. Um, but I'd love to hear you live at some point and attend one of your shows. Honestly. Yes, thank yeah. you. And the fact that you're a multi-instrumentalist, oh my gosh, I'd love to hear you play the keyboards. I love the strings, love the guitar, love the bass, love the pianos. I'd love to hear you play. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank and you your much. husband, oh my God, congratulations. I mean, Thank honestly, you. you two together. Hey, Ooh. You're a pretty good story. Yeah. <laughs> you're a storyteller, too. Uh, amazing. Good storyteller. Amazing. You. Amazing. Right. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, that's us. All righty. The first episode in the books. All right. And uh, at one point, we'll have a million followers. It may take a couple <laughs> years, but that's that's the goal. Okay. Okay. Love it. But in an underground kind of way where nobody knows about it. Yeah. There we go. In a yeah, destiny. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> 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 a million followers that nobody knows. Right? That's kind of funny. All right. Love you guys. Peace right. out. Oh, thank you guys for having me. Yeah. Stemporize. Yeah. If you don't know, tell somebody. All right. If they don't know, tell tell them again. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Love you. Bye. Peace out. Good night.